Yo, what is going on guys, it's Rascal here, and today in this video I'll be showing you guys the best optimization on your PC. So how to get the highest frames, the lowest input delay, and yeah, we're today I'm going to be telling you guys all that, and let's get this going. Before we apply all these settings, uh, I recommend making a restore point, just in case you have any problems with your computer after applying all these settings, like your computer crashes or anything. So what we're going to do here is go to the bottom left, search, create a restore point. It should pop right here. Now, most of these settings, program settings, are going to be specifically on your SSD drive. However, if some of the stuff that you have in the video I'm going to show is on any other hard drive, uh, put it uh, the protection on for that. But because I have mine specifically on my C drive, my local disk, or my SSD, uh, it's going to just keep on this. So this stuff doesn't really matter. But however, if some of the stuff is on it, make sure click right here, go to configure, turn on system protection, and apply. And it'll be on. Once your protection is on for your disk drive, for your SSD or HDD, click on create right here. Name it whatever. Restore points created successfully. Now click on close. And now you made the restore point. And if you need to go back and restore your computer, just simply go to system restore. Click on next. And it's going to pop up right here. And simply just click on it, go to next, and then just click on finish and you're going to have to restart your computer for the changes to apply. After we're finished making the system restore point, go to the left right here to advance, and on performance, go to settings, and on default, it's going to say, it's going to have on let windows choose what's best for my computer. Simply go click on custom, and I definitely recommend having all of this off except for smooth edges of screen fonts to make all the letterings uh, pop more. Now once you click on that, simply click apply down here, and go to advance right here, and make sure this is right here checked on programs for processing scheduling. And once you have it checked, just click apply down here and click OK. The next thing we're going to do is go down here. We're going to go to game mode. Go to game mode settings and make sure your game mode is on. And make sure your Xbox game bar is off. This is really important because it's going to use a lot of performance on your computer. And make sure this is off so you have the most performance. Go to the top left right here in the search bar and search up for apps. First thing I would do is go to background apps. And make sure this is off. And after you do that, go to apps again and search up for startup apps. And only click the ones that you really need to have on. But most of the stuff I have on because I need it. Once you turn off the stuff that you don't need on, go to the top left here again, go to focus assist. And turn this off. Alright, to the left of focus assist, we're going to see display. Click on that. Scroll all the way down until you see advanced display settings. Click on that. And on your main game monitor, make sure you go set the refresh rate to the highest refresh rate possible. So mine is 240, so simply just click on that. Only goes up to 239, but make sure it's on the highest refresh rate that your monitor is at. After we do that, go back and scroll all the way down again, and then we're going to click on graphic settings. Now this setting right here is important for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now what it does, it reduces latency and improves performance. Now this is really good for low and uh, mid tier computers. But for high tier computers, like mine, I have a high tier and I don't really need to have it on, but it's still best to have it on either way. So make sure you click that on and it's going to tell you to restart your computer to apply it, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to do that until the very end of the video. And once you have that on, go down to here and browse for the game that you uh, play on. So for me, for example, play Call of Duty. So let's say uh, Mall for 2. So click on browse. Go to where your game is at. So for mine, I have it on my local disk, my C drive or my SSD card or my SSD drive. Yours could be on your hard drive, but whichever your game is at, make sure you find it. So I'm going to go to find my local disk and it's going to be here. And for Marvel 2, it's going to be called Call of Duty. Click right here and this should be in retail. And then it's going to be the main game right here. Once you find it, click add. And it's going to add right here. And it's going to be called Call of Duty HQ for Marvel 2. Click on that, click on the options and make sure you set it to high performance and click save. After we're finished with that, go back to your desktop and go right click on it and go to NVIDIA control panel. Go to your G-Sync and I would recommend having this off. Having it on will definitely have more input delay and I would not have it on at all. So make sure it's off. Go to the very top here to adjust image settings or preview. Click on use my preference emphasizing, emphasizing and make sure it's all the way down to performance. And go to manage through these settings. And you can copy what I have right here. I'm going to slowly go down and make sure 
this ambient includes is on performance. Everything else here is normal. Make sure on monitor technology it's on fixed refresh. And make sure it's not on G-Sync compatible. And then right here in power management mode, make sure this is on preferred maximum performance. And then the last thing right here that changes texture filtering quality is high performance. And once you click on uh, the settings that you need to apply, uh, on the bottom right here it's going to say apply. Make sure you click apply on all that. And the next, next thing is a vertical sync. Make sure this is off. After you click on the things you need to apply, just click apply down right here and it should apply all of it. The next thing we're going to do is go to your power management mode. So search for power. I'm going to say choose a power plan. Click on that and make sure it's set to high performance or whichever highest uh, performance possible setting you can have it. But mine right here is high performance. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to your task manager here and go to startup. And make sure you disable all the programs that you don't need to have on when you load up. These will definitely have an impact to your computer and how fast it's running. So make sure you disable the ones you don't need. And the next setting right here is specifically for Call of Duty Mod for 2. And what we're going to look at is right here, we're going to do CPU on the performance tab and look at your cores. So for me, I have 16. So what we want to do is the amount of cores you have, get that number and divide that by 2. So for me, it's going to be 8. Go down to the bottom left right here at the start. Go to Documents. And we're going to find Call of Duty Mod for 2. It's going to be in this Call of Duty uh, folder. Go to Players. And then go to specifically Options 3 COD 22. Double click on that. And we're going to go scroll down all the way till we see thread count for handling a job queue. And this number might be different for you. It might say 4, 8, it could be any number. But make sure it's set to whatever your cores are at on your task manager and divide that number by 2. So for me, it was 16. So divide that by 2, it will be 8. So we're simply just going to write here. Simply just put down the number of what it is and write 8. And then once you do that, go to File and Save. And for me, I already have it saved, but for you, it should save automatically. Once you have it saved, uh, go back to it right here, right click on it, go to properties and make sure it's set to read only so it stays on that uh, thread count and it doesn't change. And once you check on it, click apply and okay. All right, now we're gonna go into the advanced stuff. So first thing we're gonna do is go to task manager and what we're gonna do is go to performance and we're gonna check memory. And the main thing right here we're gonna look at is your cache. So what cache does is it basically uses up a lot of your performance on your computer so how fast your computer is running, this really affects it a lot. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove all the cache as much as possible and basically reset it every five minutes or so indefinitely. And what this will do is it'll make your computer run fast and also helps with the more frames in game. So in the description below, I'm going to put down the, the software that we're going to be using. And once you have it downloaded, uh, simply go down to your downloads and it's going to be right here, MP standby list. And before we do that, make a new folder, call whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call it empty standby list. Once you make the folder, simply just drag the application into the folder. Like that. And it should be right inside right here. There it is. Now, once you have it right here, click on it, right click on it and go to properties. Go to compatibility and make sure it's run as a program, as administrator. Click apply and OK. So it's able to use its full uh, potential and make sure it's actually working correctly. Now, once you have the program in the folder right here, we're simply going to go down the bottom left and search up task scheduler. Open this up and we're going to simply click on create a task. And the name, it can be any name. So uh, I'll just say empty cache. And description, same thing. You can just set it with whatever, it doesn't matter, but I'm just doing empty cache right here. After we've done that, go to the bottom left right here and make sure run only when user logged on. Make sure that's checked and make sure this is checked right here with highest privileges. And once we do that, go to top right here to change user or group. Click on that and go to advance. Find now. And we're going to find the system of your computer. So you're going to have a bunch of these, a uh, bunch of these uh, logins, but make sure you want to find system specifically. So right here, there it is. Click on that. Double click on it. And it's going to be set right here. Click OK. And make sure we have it configured for Windows 10. If you're on Windows 11, it might say Windows 11. But I have Windows 10. But make sure it's set onto that. And once we do that, go to Triggers. Click on New. We're going to simply click on Repeat Task right here. Check that. 
Make sure it's on the lowest amount possible, which is five minutes. So click there and make sure it's set to indefinitely for a duration of. So it can happen every five minutes for forever. Once we do that, just click OK. Go to actions and right here, click on new. Go to browse and simply find where the uh, folder you had. I already have it set right here automatically. But if it doesn't pop up, just make sure you find it where it was. So for me, it was in my desktop on my hard drive. There it is, empty cache. And right there, we'll click open and make sure you click on the application. And it's gonna set right here and click OK. And there it is right here. Do that, go to settings right here and leave everything however it is and just click OK. And because I already have this running already, as you can see, it already exists. Uh, it's going to simply uh, put it on right here, but I have it down right here already, right here. And as we can see, it's going to trigger at 650 and it already happened. So I'm going to bring up task manager right here and show you what's going to happen. And it should be right at 655 PM at the bottom right. Uh, it should automatically apply the change for the cache. Now I click, I simply click refresh around here for this to pop up. It was 650 earlier and now it says 655. And it's come, coming up to that time here in a bit. And right here, just focus on the cache number right here. It's going to reset down all the way back to like 100 megabits or so. So we'll see right here in a bit. Should be coming up right here in a bit. Boom, there you go. It went down all the way back to 500 megabits of cache. And it's going to simply do that every five minutes indefinitely. So this is definitely a main thing you want to have is to make sure it's removed. Uh, consistently, consistently, so your computer is running at its highest performance. All right, so this is the last and most important setting of the entire video. So what we're going to do here is go to the bottom left, search up run, click it right here, and we're going to search up msconfig, so msconfig, and click OK. Uh, this stuff doesn't really matter, but make sure you click the boot right here. Check no GUI boot, and for me, I have my timeout on three seconds. Now, what this does is basically sh shows how fast your game boots up, how fast your computer boots up. Usually it takes, you know, really quickly, specifically like high tier computers. But if you're having problems with that, simply just bump it up to, you know, 10 or even 20, maybe even 30. Just check it out with how fast, you know, everything loads up, if there's any problems with that. But I would just have it on three for me personally. And the main setting right here is click to advanced options. And right here, it's going to show default. It's going to show your number of processors. It's going to set to one. This is what it's going to look like. And what you want to do is you want to check on this and set it to the very highest amount of processors on your CPU has. So mine has 24. And what it's going to do is basically use all your CPU processors and make your computer run as fast as possible as it can. You're going to be getting a lot more higher frames in game. And this is literally like the main setting to bump up your FPS and performance. So once you do that, click apply and click OK. And right here, this message is going to pop up. Except without restart or restart. And after we apply all the changes in the video that you saw, um, this is going to be the last setting that you need to do. So basically just click restart and your computer is going to restart. And yeah, and that's going to be it for the PC optimization video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys have any comments, let me down below. Uh, if you have any questions for me, and I'll try to help you guys out, answer those questions. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.